Hey guys, it's Dr. Childs here, and today is episode number 21, and we are going to be discussing um, the question, is HCG safe to use for weight loss? And, well, let's just start talking about that, because there's a couple things that we want to differentiate when we talk about HCG. So, first of all, what is HCG? And HCG stands for Human Chorionic Gonadotropin, and it is a hormone, and so I want you to remember that, it's a hormone that is primarily secreted it well at least in large amounts during pregnancy and and the point of hcg is to protect the fetus and it has um, various uh, benefits uh, to the developing fetus and to the mother and so it, it's felt to be protective to pregnancy and it has some other effects but that's not really what we're focusing on i'm just giving you an idea of what um, how we generally think about hcg now the problem is, or the thing that we need to differentiate when we talk about HCG, is the difference between the hormone and the difference between the HCG diet, which are two completely separate things. And what, what ends up happening is uh, people conflate one with the other, and it just confuses people. And, and so we need, to, we need to differentiate those two. So first of all, HCG is just a hormone. It's not harmful by itself. However, it can be when it's combined with the diet or the calorie restriction that occurs with the HCG diet. So remember, a pregnant woman has massive amounts of HCG in her body when she, during pregnancy. Massive amounts, tons and tons and tons. So if HCG was actually harmful, which I hear people say, then why why aren't pregnant women you know, under under all this attack from the hormone and causing, and why isn't it causing problems in them? It, it just doesn't make sense. Um, so when we use HCG in people, we use a far, just a very tiny amount, um, and and it has a benefit, which we're going to talk about in a minute. But what I want you to understand is there's a difference between the hormone and a difference between the HCG diet. The reason that the diet can be harmful is because of the calorie restriction. Now, normally, what it, what you end up seeing is. Um, patients, they undergo HCG treatment, usually via injections or subcutaneous injections, and they they um, combine that with a usually like a really low calorie diet, so something you, between like 500 and sometimes 1500 calories per day for an extended period of time. Now it is the calorie restriction that causes all the problems. It causes people's hair to fall out and it causes metabolic issues and all sorts of symptoms and causes thyroid issues. It's not the hormone HCG. So I need you to just realize that. Now, HCG as a hormone, and part of the reason we're talking about this, can be used to help with weight loss by itself. And we'll talk about how that is. And in just a minute here, I'm going to talk exactly how I recommend uh, that you, well, some people can consider using it and who should and who shouldn't. But HCG as a hormone has some benefits, okay? And some of those benefits include the ability, see, I have some right here. So along with links to studies, if you want to check them out, but it has the potential or the ability to help regulate sex hormones, especially sex hormones such as estrogen and progesterone. Now, this is particularly effective in women who tend to have weight gain as a result of these hormone imbalances. Now, remember, you can have a lot of reasons for weight gain. Uh, weight gain can be the result of menopause, which um, is related to a drop in estrogen and progesterone. It could be related to your thyroid, such as if you've had your thyroid removed. Um, it could be related to low testosterone, especially in men. It could be related to high cortisol or high insulin. So there's a lot of different reasons that you have weight gain. So just uh, you know, a blanket approach, just saying everyone needs to be on HCG doesn't make any sense because it tends to help certain areas. And some of the areas that you want to focus on um, would be the, the effects that it has on estrogen and progesterone. Okay, so that's one, and um, we'll talk about women who potentially can benefit from that, and as well as men, by the way. Uh, number two would be it may help regulate appetite and it may help suppress your appetite. So this can be helpful, especially if you're not exactly sure how many calories you should or shouldn't be consuming. Remember, the amount that you consume should be matched to your metabolic rate, which means that uh, it's going to be different for every person. You can't just sit on a, let's say, a, you can't just say, I need 2,000 calories per day. It doesn't work that way. You might, you might have once needed 2,000 calories per day, um, but due to dieting and so forth, that number might be a lot lower. It might be 1,400 or 1,500. Um, because remember, the more you diet, the more you damage your metabolism. Um, so it can be helpful, especially if you're not really sure how much you should or shouldn't be eating, um, but don't hang your hat on just that benefit. Um, third, and this this tends to be less well-studied and more just about um, 
anecdotal uh, evidence from patients. And in my own experience as well, I, I hear that a lot from patients. Um, number three, it can definitely help increase testosterone. Uh, and this, this uh, effect is very pronounced, especially in men. Um, HCG in men by itself can be a fertility medication where it can restore um, testicular function, especially in men who have had tes testicular atrophy as a result of uh, chronic and prolonged steroid use or just excessively high doses of steroids. And in women, it seems that it might have that benefit as well. Uh, and some women will experience acne and things like that when they use it, probably because it's increasing at least the receptor sensitivity, if not the total amount of testosterone. And then number fourth is it may support thyroid function. So if we're talking about anything that's going to help with weight loss, if it supports your thyroid in some way, if it increases the amount of thyroid hormone that's there or the free T3, then it's going to have an increase and better effect on your metabolism and may help with weight loss in that way. So you have HCG as a hormone benefiting these four areas. Okay, so by itself, it, it's pretty powerful. So let's talk about using HCG for weight loss, but not combining it with the calorie restricted diet. Now, I wish a lot of people, I wish more people were aware of this because as a weight loss medication, um, it could be particularly effective. Now, think about it this way. What if you were doing the ketogenic diet and you combine HCG with the ketogenic diet or HCG with another healthy diet such as the paleo diet or any of those other um, diets that you know to be healthy which are not calorie restrictive. Now you're combining it with a diet that you know is already healthy and presumably is healthy for your body, right? We're not going to talk about that, but presumably you've already done that research. And now you're getting the benefits of the diet in addition to all these benefits from the hormone. And that's how you want to use HCG. Okay, that's the best way to do it. So I do recommend combining it with a regular healthy diet. And if you do want to do any uh, sort of calorie restriction, it needs to be intermittent fasting. It should not be prolonged and excessive because if you, if you reduce the, your calories, you reduce it to even 1200 or 1400 and that's lower than what your body should be and you do that for as you know 21 days you're going to experience some degree of me metabolic damage or a reduction in your metabolism so you want to avoid that but if you do it intermittently such as one to two or probably no more than two or three times per week but one to two times per week then you don't risk damaging your metabolism, but you still get the benefit of that calorie restriction. So that's kind of the way you want to think about it. So if you want to combine it, that's the only thing you should combine it with. Now, when you do it in this way, you don't need to do it every single day. In fact, low doses, usually 100 to 200 IUs, one to two times per week um, via sub-Q injection. It should not be taken orally or sublingually. Um, that is where you'll get the most benefit. So that's, that's kind of the way that I use it. So it's, I just use it in combination with other therapies I would already be using, especially in people that have not responded to other therapies. So you might try whatever. You, you could try a lot of different things. There's tons of medications that I've talked about in the past. Um, you know, Phentermine, if used correctly, uh, Victoza, Saxenda, tons of different medications, LDN, etc. Now, you can just use these in combination with those things, um, and that's how you get the, the big benefit. So let's talk about some of the people that might benefit from using HEG, because remember, not everyone will. So I tend to find that women who have... Um, hormonal weight gain related to estrogen and progesterone imbalance to benefit the most from HCG. And, and what I mean by that is usually women who have excessive weight, usually in the butt, the hips, the thigh, that kind of area, they usually benefit from HCG. Um, you also find some benefit in those who have failed or are resistant to traditional weight loss medications. So if you've tried lots of different diets, by it, but the, just the diet portion by itself, and you haven't seen any benefit, then maybe it's worthwhile combining things together. Because remember, the more you combine and the more you layer your therapies, the better your results will be. Um, and then I think also for men, HCG is incredibly helpful as well, just because it increases that testosterone function. So that's sort of the way, the, how I think about it. Now, there's lots of different people that you can. It's not usually, or different people that benefit from it. It's not usually my first line weight loss therapy that I that I think about. Um, but it, it's an, an extra tool that you can put uh, put away in your tool belt and think about if you're resistant to any other weight loss therapies. So hopefully you understand the difference between HCG, HCG the diet, and HCG. HCG, it's hard to say so many times, the hormone. So there's two difference, or there's two big differences between those two and how you want to be considering using it or how you want to consider using it. So that's pretty much all I have today. If you have any question about using HCG, if it's helpful for you, whatever, if you want to just talk about it or, or you know, lend your experience, um, we'd lo I'd love to hear from you. Please do leave your questions and comments below. And otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one.